I want to thank all you asylum seekers for your braveness, your courage, your desire to stand here with us. The reception system is called uh, the Red Provision System because uh, you can't receive social welfare or cash payment from the government, but you are given meals and um, accommodation uh, directly by the state. The accommodation is a hostel style where people share rooms with three or four people from different countries, different backgrounds, different cultural, religion or beliefs and, uh, and have to sh share the same toilets and, and bathroom. And you, you have families who are given single rooms and they have to share uh, this, the room with their children and there is no toilet or kitchen opportunity um, in, in these rooms which make life difficult and hard for them to go through. There is a dining uh, system being set up with fixed time where you have to be uh, in the dining at the, at the period given to you and if you are not there on time or you, you miss your dinner or your food or lunch or breakfast it means that you, you, you have to wait again till um, the next time or the next morning or the next day because uh, there is no opportunity for you to cook for yourself or to uh, get to be provided uh, with food after the dining uh, time. You are not allowed to do anything. You are not allowed to work. You are not allowed to study. You can't do anything. Just sleep, eat, sleep or just sitting in, 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 in an open prison that is, if you allow me to call the, 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 the direct provision system an open prison. I know people who have lived there for 10, 11 years mm -hmm. and are still waiting. These centers are run by uh, private owners for profit purpose. If you have a complaint, it's quite funny because there's no independent system to complain. Those who you, you are complaining against, you have to go back and co complain with them. Which your, 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 your matter will never be taken further like because if a manager, you have a problem with a manager or a cell worker and you have to go back and complain to the same manager, it's, look, this system will never work because it won't go anywhere. The Irish government has been using some kind of uh, threat with asylum seekers when they stand for their rights. It's like the system is. When you stand for your rights, you'll be punished. Or you get transferred from one to another place, or you'll be given with deportation letter immediately to, to, to threaten you so you can't stand for your rights. I joined the Irish Refugee Council um, to work with them and campaign against uh, the direct exclusion system and call for an end of it because I have lived in it for over six years and I've seen how destructive uh, it is in terms of people's lives.